Hey everybody, this is Bart with buildblog.net. Just want to show off my uh, latest project where I'm testing out some bus servos from Lee Wan Soul. Uh, these bus servos um, are uh, sort of like normal hobby servos, except they run on a digital bus, uh, which means you can daisy chain them together. So you can see I have three servos here and it's only three wires to run all three. It's power ground and a digital signal. Um, Made a little drawing machine. I picked this machine because it was really easy for me to do because I've done a, a smaller one before using a regular hobby servos. You can see um, I scaled it up a bit. So scaling it up a bit, um, it's going to um, automatically lose um, one and a half uh, times the resolution um, just because it's stretched out to a larger image. Um, but hopefully the uh, servos are uh, smoother than the, the regular hobby servos and it'll sort of equalize out. Um, so it's, um, what it did was um, I actually 3D printed the brackets for these servos because I didn't have enough. But it worked out well because um, I was able to uh, bolt them on a little easier, um, making it, uh, thickening it up a bit. So I made three, I made one side and two back mounts. Um, one servo is mounted right side up, the other is upside down. Um, then they just chain together. Uh, the Z servo has a little cam that pushes on a um, base, slides up and down on some linear rods. There's also a little spring on the back side to, to pull it down um, in case it gets hung up a little. Um, and it's a little wiggly, so it's not going to have the best resolution, but uh, it was more of a just end-to-end -end project just to see how I like working with bus servos. Um, so it hooks up over to um, their little um, converter board. Um, I haven't really looked at this too much, but to me it just looks like it's got a um, USB to uh, serial and then probably just a um, adapter to convert to the um, half duplex. Um, not sure, I don't think there's any uh, processor on here. Pretty simple, low cost board. I'm just using transmit out of my controller. I'm using a PSOC development board. It's just easier for me to use this uh, because I have a port of Gerbil uh, and it's really easy to hack and add things like extra um, UARTs. Um, I'm only using transmit um, you can actually query these servos to get positional information, so if you move them by hand, you can read where they are. You can also read voltage and temperature and a couple other things, but I didn't need any of that for this project. Um, I'm also running 5 volts to this board. Um, that's due to a little mishap I had um, where I actually blew out the regulator and had to take it off. That was just a mishandling problem of my own. So I just pulled the regulator off and supplied 5 volts from this board. Um, Definitely, if you're trying to repeat something, do not supply the 5 volts if you, if you haven't uh, removed the regulator. Then, um, there's just primary power going to this, which is, um, in my case, I have it set up for 7.2 uh, volts, I think, 7.2 or 7.4. Um, the firmware I'm running is just stock Gerbil, and what I've done is um, somewhere uh, in the mix of things, I added a 16 hertz timer, so 16 times a second. Um, it queries Gerbil and says, um, I know you're running a job, where are you uh, in 3D space? And it gets that information and then feeds it to the servo. So 16 times a second, it just kind of asks Gerbil what's going on. Gerbil thinks it's running stepper motors and all that, um, but I'm just sort of spying on the whole process. Um, and then feeding the information over here. These run on uh, a 115 200 baud, and um, you, if you're just in uh, transmit mode, you can just um, keep transmitting uh, as fast as you can to these servos. They seem to take it just fine. You don't have to wait for a query because on a standard move, it doesn't uh, return any information on the half duplex. Um, and uh, the PSAC being 32-bit, and I think this is running at, um, I'm not sure, maybe about 48 megahertz. It's got plenty of um, extra power that is really not bothering um, Gerbil, the overhead, to add that. Um, 
Okay, that's it on the introduction. Let me set up. Um, well, I can show you how um, this thing mounts. Uh, the bottom has some magnets on it. So basically, take a piece of metal, put the paper on top of that. Sorry for this cell phone video, but that's all I have handy right now. And then you just stick this down on top and it holds it pretty strong and then the paper will stay and the machine won't rock around. So hang on a minute and I'll set up the job. All right, I'm set up to run a quick demo, um, actually test of the drawing. Uh, I'm just gonna draw a quick Raspberry Pi logo because that just happens to be the last G-code I generated. Um, I have it hooked up to a uh, benchtop power supply uh, at 7.2 volts uh, to simulate a battery that would normally be running these servos. Um, so here it goes. So those, uh, it just drew the first two leaves. They're supposed to be jaggy like that. Um, if you look at the logo, um, these ovals are supposed to be a lot more round than they are, but um, it's actually drawing quite a bit better than um, the digital servo version. Most of the jiggliness is probably in the uh, mechanism I have and the, the pen. Um, but that's not bad for a first test. Um, the uh, servos are really easy to work with. Um, I'll probably consider uh, using them on future projects. A little larger than what I'm used to working with, um, but um, they certainly have more power and um, they are a lot easier to deal with than PWM on some applications.